With Clone Wars Season 7 coming and going, it definitely left us with a couple of questions that remained unanswered. That is until Dave Filoni gave an interview to The Nerdist and kind of cleared some things up, although many things are left to discussion, of course, as we don't have a definitive answer, and somehow with the state of the world as it is, I'm expecting some new material to come out in later this year, some comics or some books that could explain what actually happened happen in clear detail. And this is what Dave Filoni actually warned about in this interview, that we shouldn't focus on particular details when it comes to some actions of the characters as it diminishes their sacrifice and what they stand for, what they are actually are like inside. In this recent interview, Dave Filoni explained the plot hole that many fans have been clamoring about, and that's the inhibitor chip comment that old Captain Rex talked about in Rebels. You see, in a conversation with Kanan Jarrus, he tells both Ezra and Kanan that he himself removed the chip that was inside his head. Back then, we took him at his word. Not only Rex, but Gregor and Wolf, all three of them had removed their chips somehow, and it remained to be seen possibly in a comic series or in books, as we have been accustomed to seeing these smaller details pop up and explain explain these things in detail, but luckily the new Clone Wars season was renewed and season 7 explained how Rex removed his inhibitor chip and guess what, it wasn't him as he said in the Rebels, it was Ahsoka who actually saved him from going through with Order 66 and removing his inhibitor chip. His clone compatriot Jesse was not as lucky as Rex as he did pursue Order 66 till the end together with his clone brothers and we all know how that ended up. But this plot hole that Captain Rex did not remove his inhibitor chip as he said in Rebels did make quite a fuss in the Star Wars community. That is until now with Dave Filoni coming out and giving this interview particularly about that issue. He said to the Nerdist, I think when you reach him, meaning Rex and Rebels, and he says, I took out my control chip to Kanan as a way of explaining that we all can make a choice. Filoni explained, I think he sees that as true, and I think it's one way that he's coped with things. He did get it removed. Kanan doesn't need to know the minute details of Rex's life. Dave Filoni went on to say even further that I think that's where you can get hung up on continuity so much that you don't actually tell a story that's about real people. So Rex at that moment tells Kanan the point of view that Kanan needed to understand who Rex is and what he's really about. In that particular episode, Rex was explaining to Kanan that he is in no danger, as Kanan knew that the clones had turned on the Jedi, they had killed his master, Depa Balaba, and they pursued him as well. Luckily, Kanan escaped. What Dave Filoni is trying to explain is that Rex, with that little comment by Rex saying, I took out my control chip, he's trying to simply tell Kanan that he is in no danger. Rex is no threat, same as Wolf and Gregor. The clones did that because they were controlled by the Sith and by what turned out to be the Sith's empire in Darth Sidious, now known as Emperor Palpatine. If the clones did not possess that inhibitor chip inside their head, well, things might have turned differently. This is what Dave is trying to express, is that Rex really had a long time to think about what he did. He turned against Ahsoka and nearly killed her together with his brothers. That's why he took responsibility and said that he took his control chip. He is trying to somehow forgive himself for what he did, but not only himself. You see, the clones are all connected. They all came together in this world, and he is trying to take responsibility for all the clones and everything that they did. He knows that the clones betrayed the Jedi in the end, but to no fault of their own. Needless to say, nobody is at fault here. Not the clones and not the Jedi in some way. This is all Darth Sidious is doing. By Rex saying he took 
America's control chip, he's trying to make amends with Kanan and trying to explain what was actually behind those the slaughter of the Jedi. Then by watching Rebels, you can clearly see Rex and Kanan coming together slowly and coming to an understanding, maybe even becoming friends. But in my mind, yes, Dave Filoni really did a good job of trying to tell you why you shouldn't get hung up in small, minute details. The certain point of view line has been used a lot to excuse a lot of things, but this one really makes sense in my mind because it saves a lot of other continuity issues. For example, if Rex took out his control chip by himself, then why didn't other clones? That would have been a much bigger plot hole than Ahsoka saving Rex and removing the control chip and then Rex just simply spouting out a line that he took the control chip. Guys, I think Dave Filoni has proved himself over and over again. Now him teaming up with Jon Favreau is just a gold mine. The Mandalorian is in beautiful hands and they will go on to make history together. Star Wars history at that, which is the best history you can watch, you can experience. That's what we want. The thing about the Clone Wars series and the Rebel series is that they had so many starts and stops and turns that would have become hectic and that's what it did. The Clone Wars season 7 had so such a short schedule and so little episodes that yes, you need to leapfrog things and explain them quickly, but also respecting the lore itself. I think Dave did a pretty nice job and you can go watch everything again and not skip a beat. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this and of course leave your thoughts and comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe for dailies. Now you can have an awesome day Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next video and may the force be with you. Until then.